Now, uh, today is our Radha-ashtami. Uh, I must speak now something about uh, Radha-rani, and then I shall go up, uh, reach my apartment at twelve. Uh, in the meantime, you can observe the ceremonies. So, so far Radha Rani, Radha Rani today is the birth, birthday of Srimati Radha Rani. Uh, Radha Rani is the uh, pleasure potency of Krishna. Uh, Krishna is the Supreme Brahma. Just try to understand. Krishna is the Supreme Brahma, Param Brahma. Param Dhava, Pavitram Paramam Bhava. So, when Parabrahma wants to enjoy, that enjoying spirit is there in the Parabrahma. Otherwise, we cannot have this enjoying spirit because we are part and parcel. Therefore, uh, we have got that enjoying spirit. But it is materially contaminated. Uh, but the fact is there because Krishna. He is enjoying. This enjoying spirit we have got also, but I do not know how to enjoy. Uh, we are trying to enjoy in the matter, in the dull matter. That is spiritual. So, uh, Brahma, <coughs> Brahma Sukhanubhutya, people are trying to uh, feel what is Brahma Sukha, pleasure, a Brahmanu Bhava. Uh, that is not material pleasure. So many yogis, they have given up their family life, their kingdom, and meditating to achieve that Brahma pleasure. Actually, the idea is Brahma pleasure. So many brahmacharis, so many sannyasis, they are trying to achieve that Brahma pleasure, and in order to achieve that Brahma pleasure, they are neglecting, they are kicking off all these material pleasures. Do you think that Brahma pleasure is ordinary, this material pleasure? To achieve a portion of Brahma pleasure, if they are kicking off all these material pleasures, uh, don't talk of ourselves, we are ordinary men. We are in the history, we have got instances that a Bharat Maharaj. Bharat Maharaj, under whose name the, uh, this planet is called Bharat Varsha. That Bharat Maharaj was the emperor of the whole world. And as emperor, he had his beautiful wife, young children, but at the age of twenty-four years, just young man, he gave up everything. Okay, this is very old story, of course, but you know Lord Buddha. He was also a prince. He was also a prince, not ordinary man. Uh, and he was Kshatriya, and he was always enjoying with beautiful women. That is the uh, palace, pleasure, uh, custom in every uh, in oriental country. Then in the palace there are many beautiful girls that are always dancing and giving pleasure to the king and the prince. So Lord Buddha was also in, the, in such pleasure, but he gave up everything and began to meditate. There are many hundreds of instances in Indian history that to realize the Brahma pleasure, they gave up everything. Uh, they gave up everything. Uh, that is the way. Tapasya means voluntarily accepting something severe for realizing the supreme pleasure. That is called tapasya. Uh, so, if for uh, tasting a little Brahma pleasure, uh, all materialistic pleasures are to be given up. Do you think that the Supreme Brahma, Lord Krishna, is enjoying this material pleasure? Is it very reasonable? This Krishna is enjoying uh, Lakshmi Sahasra Sato Sammama Sibumanam. Hundreds and thousands of goddesses of fortune are engaged in, that, in his service. Do you think these Lakshmis are material women? How Krishna can take pleasure in the material women? No, this is mistake. 
आनंद चिन्मय रस प्रतिभाविता भी साभी ज एव निज रूप तया कला भी ब्रह्म संहिता इज फाइन दैट ही एक्सपैंड इज आनंद चिन्मय रस दिमेला और ट्रांसेंडेंटल प्रीज पोटेंसी एंड दीज गोपीज आर एक्सपेंस ऑफ इज प्रेज पोटेंसी एंड राधारानी इज द सेंटर राधारानी इज द सेंटर सो राधारानी इज नॉट डोंट टेस्ट राधारानी इज एन ऑर्डिनरी वुमेन लाइक वी आर आवर वाइफ आर सिस्टर आर मादर नो सी इज द प्रेज पोटेंस एंड द बर्थ ऑफ राधारानी was not from the womb of any human being she was found by her father in the field uh, while his father was plowing uh, he saw one little nice uh, child is lying there and he had no children so he caught it and presented to the queen oh here we have got a very nice child uh, how you got her huh, in the field this radharani is janma is like that so this janma is today and radha this name is sometimes not found in bhagavat so the atheistic class of men protest this radharani's name is not in the simad bhagavatam how uh, this name came radharani but they do not do not know how to see it there is anayaradhate ah there are many gopis but there is mention that by this particular gopi he is said more pleasingly ah krishna accepts this gopi service uh, more gladly anayaradhate aradhate this aradhate this word aradhate means worshiping Uh, from this word Aradhate, Radha has come. Uh, but Radha's name are there in other Puranas. So this is the origin. So Radha, so Radha and Krishna, Krishna is enjoying, and he wants to enjoy. So uh, he is the supreme Brahma that he cannot enjoy anything. Atma Rama, he can enjoy in himself. therefore radharani is the expansion of his place at potent krishna has not got to seek uh, external things for his pleasure no he is in himself full atmana so radharani is expansion of krishna uh, krishna is the energetic and radharani is the energy just uh, the energy and energetic can you cannot separate fire and the heat you cannot separate so wherever there is fire there is heat and wherever there is heat there is fire similarly wherever there is krishna there is radha and wherever there is radha there is krishna uh, they are inseparable uh, but uh, he is enjoying uh, so sarup damodar goshami as described this intricate philosophy of the radha and krishna in one verse very nice verse radha krishna pranaya vikriti alhadini satti rasmat ekatmana mapi bhuvi deho bhedu gato to so radha and krishna is the one supreme but in our two uh, enjoy they are divided into two uh, again lord chaitanya join they two into one chaitanya ka prakata maduna uh, that one means krishna in the uh, ecstasy of radha sometimes krishna is in ecstasy of radha sometimes radha is in ecstasy of krishna uh, this is going on uh, but the whole thing is radha and krishna means the one the supreme uh, so radha krishna philosophy Uh, is a, a very uh, um, great philosophy it is to be understood in the liberated state uh, radha krishna philosophy is not to be understood in the conditioned state uh, but uh, when we worship radha krishna in our conditional state actually we worship 
लक्ष्मी नारायण दैट पिक्चर दिस विधि मार्ग एंड राधा मार्ग राधा कृष्ण वर्ष इज ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ प्योर लव एंड लक्ष्मी नारायण वर्ष इज ऑन द रेग्युलेटिव प्रिंस सो लॉन्ग वी डू नॉट डेवलप अवर प्योर लव वी हैव टू वर्षिप ऑन द रेग्युलेटिव प्रिंस वन हैज टू बिकम ए ब्रह्मचारी वन हैज टू बिकम ए सन्यासी वन हैज टू परफॉर्म द वर्षिप इन दिस वे in the morning he has to rise he has to offer so many rules and regulations there are at least 64 rules and regulations uh, so we shall introduce them gradually as you develop so in the vidhi marga when you have no love for god or krishna we have to follow the regulated principle and automatically they practice and practice just like you practice this midanga playing uh, in the beginning it is not in order but when you become uh, well versed in the practice or uh, the sound will come so nice similarly when we are engaged by regulative principle in the worship of radha krishna that is called vidhi marga and actually when you are on the love love platform then that is called raga marga so without vidhi marga if anyone wants to learn the raga marga immediately and uh, that is foolishness uh, that is foolishness uh, nobody can pass any examination without going through the regulative principles of primary schools and colleges uh, so therefore i do not uh, uh, i mean to say indulge in the discussion of radha and krishna so easily uh, and us go on with the regulative principle at the present moment gradually as you become purified as you become on the transcendental platform you will understand what is radha krishna uh, don't try to understand radha krishna uh, very quickly it is a very big subject if we want to understand radha krishna very quickly then there will be so many prakita sahajya uh, in india there are prakita sahajya uh, just like radha krishna dancing radha krishna radha krishna has become a play thing uh, the painting radha krishna krishna is kissing radha radha is kissing these are all nonsense radha krishna philosophy has to be understood by the liberated person not by the condition so uh, so we shall await for the fortunate moment when we are liberated then we shall understand Radha Krishna Prana Mrititi because Krishna and Radha they are not on the material plane. Uh, try to understand this is Jiva Goswami's uh, analysis that Krishna is the supreme Brahma. The supreme Brahma cannot accept anything material. Uh, so Radha is not in the material plane. Uh, now there is a very nice song. This is a Rupa Goswami. Rupa Goswami is song. राधे जय जय माधव दयिते राधे जय जय माधव दयिते गोकुल तारुणी मंडल महिते राधे जय जय माधव दयिते दामोदर के मर्धन बेसे हरिणी स्तुत बिंदा बिपीने से वृषभानुदोधी नवशशिले थे ललिता सखी गुण रमित विशाखी करुणाकुरो मणि करुणा भरित सनक सनातन वर्णित चरित राधे जय जय माधव दयते दिस सॉन्ग वॉज सॉन्ग बाय रूप गोस्वामी ही इज दी रियल पर्सन नेचुरल पर्सन टू अंडरस्टैंड राधा एंड कृष्णा सो ही से All glory to Radha Rani, Radhe Jaya Jaya, Madhav Dayite, 
is so dear to Krishna. Uh, Krishna, everyone is trying to love Krishna. But Krishna is trying to love somebody. The how grace is. Just try to understand. Everyone, the whole world, the whole universe, all living entities, they are uh, trying to love Krishna. Krishna Prema. Lord Chaitanya describes Prema Pumat Mahan. And uh, Rupa Goswami describes that you are distributing Krishna Prema. So Krishna Prema is so valuable. But Krishna is after Radharani. Just see how Radharani is great. Just try to understand the greatness of Radharani. Therefore, she is so great and we have to offer our respect. Radhe Jaya Jaya Mahabhavati. How she is? Gokula Tarani Mandala Mahite. Tarani Taruni means young girls. Uh, you see the pictures, they are all young girls. But of all the young girls, she is the most beautiful. Uh, she is enchanting to the uh, young girls also. Uh, she is so beautiful. Gokula Tarani Mandala Mahite. Damo Dararati Vardhana Bise. And she always dresses her so nicely that Damodara, Krishna, becomes attracted by her beauty. Hari Nishkuta Vrinda Bipine she. And she is the only lovable object of Krishna and she is the queen of Vrinda. This queen of Vrinda uh, you will find uh, in Vrinda if you go to Vrinda everyone is worshipping Radharani. Uh, Rani means queen. Uh, they are always speaking Jaradhe Radharani. Uh, the, all the devotees in Vrindavan, they are worshippers of Radharani. Hari Nishkuta Vrindavipine. Vrishabhanu Dodi Navasishile. And she appeared as the daughter of King Vrishabhanu. And her companion Lalita Sati and Vishaka Sati. And the devotees, uh, on behalf of the pure devotees of Krishna, uh, uh, Rupa Goswami is praying, Karuna and Kurumai, Karuna Bharite. My worshipful Radharani, you are full of mercy, so I am begging of your mercy because uh, you are so merciful, very easily you offer, bestow your mercy. So I am uh, begging your mercy. Karuna Ankurumai, Karuna Bharite, Sanaka Samanapana Bodhnite Charite. Now somebody may say, Oh, you are so great, learned scholar, you are so great a saintly person, and you are begging mercy from an ordinary girl. How is that? Therefore, Rupa Goswami says, Oh, this is not ordinary girl. Sanaka Samanapana Bodhnite Charite. This girl's description is possible to be made by great saintly person like Sanakshana. Oh. She is not ordinary. So, the lesson is that we should not treat Radharani as ordinary uh, girl or Krishna as ordinary man. They, they are the supreme, absolute truth, but the, in the absolute truth, there is the pleasure potency and that is exhibited in the dealings of Radha and Krishna and Radha's expansion, all the gopis and Krishna is the supreme lord. Thank you.